Hello, I'm Tom Simonine, Computing Editor with Technology Review. This telepresence robot from Pigo Communications is one of a handful hoping to find favour with office workers looking for an alternative to travel. And it certainly beats phone or video calls. While sat at my desk in San Francisco, I can roam corridors in Cambridge, Massachusetts, seeking out people in their offices, attending meetings, and joining in with gossip in the kitchen. But replacing a person with a machine is not always straightforward. In our January issue, I take a look at the social side of becoming and working with a robot. Controlling one of these telepresence robots is like using a video chat program with a few extra controls to steer yourself around. You can do most of the things that you would do in person. For example, stopping to talk with people you meet. The Dominican Republic was great, Tom. They're trying to get a two-year-old baby yes. down to the Dominican Republic was difficult. Oh, all right. Well, I'm sure he liked it when you got there. Yeah. Or having a conversation as you walk down a corridor alongside someone. Because you can get a feel for the space around you and watch people's body language, those conversations are much like those you would have face to face. I got much more out of our morning meeting as a robot than I would dialing in on the phone as usual. And the people there could talk to the machine as if it was me. But the extra engagement a robot provides makes any problems extra frustrating. Trying to keep pace with a meeting when a bad connection is causing your robot body to misbehave, making your colleagues laugh, is a stressful experience. <laughs> Some problems, like my difficulty steering because of the limited camera view, have technical fixes. For example, telepresence robots are appearing that use obstacle recognition to prevent crashes. Other glitches will go away with practice. Academic research shows that machines that try to act in place of people often encourage high expectations that they cannot always meet. Ultimately, a telepresence robot will always be slightly less slick and less capable than you would be in the same situation. If these robots become more common in the workplace, We'll have to learn a new set of social skills reserved for our colleagues that are machines rather than people. Yeah.